For more on athlete reaction around the country, here's our reporter, Abby Chin. Numi, unfortunately, local athletes have not been insulated from this event. John Odom, the father-in-law of New England Revolution goalkeeper Matt Reese, was seriously injured in the blast. Odom was at the finish line waiting for his daughter, Matt's wife, Nicole, to cross. The club says the family has requested privacy. It's just one of the heartbreaking stories to come out of this horrific attack. A pair of Patriots legends were near the finish line at the time of the explosions, Joe Andruzzi and Teddy Bruschi. Andruzzi, captured in this photo, appears to have been one of the many heroic people who rushed into action to help the victims. Here now is Bruschi and Celtics legend Kevin McHale on this unspeakable tragedy. It's just surprised. I mean, this what a shame. Uh, you know, out in New England, um, you know, the, the, the marathon's kind of the start of spring. It's, it's really a... It's a huge deal out there, and to have this happen, just, just you know, it's a shame. The four-hour mark, that's when the true spirit of the Boston Marathon comes into effect because all of the runners are running for something, something that's inspired them. These are runners that have put their lives aside to raise funds and train. It's really a shame that at that point something like this would happen. The Bruski family in town to support those running for Teddy's team, his charity. They were staying at the Lennox Hotel located between the blasts and had to be evacuated. Everyone is now safe at home. As you can imagine, there has been an immense reaction from the world of sports across social media, ranging from shock and disbelief to anger. All offer their support, many using the hashtags Boston Marathon and Pray for Boston. Rob Gronkowski said, wow, can't believe what just happened at the Boston Marathon, praying for everyone down there. Houston Texan J.J. Watt said, so many worked so hard to earn the joy that today was supposed to bring. A coward has replaced that joy with tragedy. Thoughts are with you, Boston. And Bruins defenseman Andrew Ferrant said, just put the kids to bed. They were a couple blocks away today and got pretty scared. Tough to know what to say to them on a night like this. Told them that although there might be a bad person out there, we saw thousands who ran to help. Way more good people in this world than bad. And Red Sox Shane Victorino said, Boston is a tough, resilient town and will prevail over this saddening tragedy. Hashtag pray for Boston. Those, of course, just a small glimpse. You'll see more tweets from around the world of sports scrolling on the screen down below, along with up-to-the-minute headlines. On a day like today, the value of Twitter and other social media platforms cannot be understated as a way for runners and supporters to let loved ones know they were okay.